All right, let's take a look at some of these tomatoes. As you can see, let me zoom in there if I can get you on it. There you go. Come on, zoom away. You see those? You can see those. You can see them. And I got a nice couple of ripe ones right there. If I can get you on there. See those? Some nice ripe ones. Anyway, we're going to do a taste test on these. These are called the spoon tomato. This is what it looks like. Now, these are too big for what they described. They said the spoon tomato is supposed to be the size of a pea. They're claiming the world's smallest tomato. Not by far. <laughs> the Everglades tomato is probably half the size at its biggest. So this is definitely not the world's smallest tomato. Um, nevertheless, it is a uh, current tomato. And um, let's do a taste test now. Let's see what it tastes like. Very tangy. It's like eating a... Um, It's like eating a berry filled with seeds. All the seeds just gush right out as soon as you eat them. Take another one. I'm not worried about saving seeds on this because I'll just, this thing should put out more than what I'm eating today anyway. I, get, I see a bunch on there. So you can see there, there's some there, there's some here, there's some in the back. So I ain't got plenty of tomatoes. I could eat these up. Um, let me squish one for you. Oops, he squirted. That's what it kind of looks like in the middle. The skins are really tough on this, very tough. It's got a slight sweet taste to it. Very tough skins. All right. I'm also going to the Galapagos tomato, which is right in there, and I don't believe I'm eating the Galapagos tomato. That thing over there that looks like a globe. I don't know if I'm, I can't see if I'm. See, that's a Galapagos tomato right there. Alright. I'm going to cut this open for you so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Oh my god, is it hot in here? It's hard to do this while you're filming. I see why a lot of people set up uh, tripods. Okay, see that's what it looks like on the inside. You can see the flesh on it is very uh, melon-like. It looks almost melon, and the skin is very thick, and it's got a very pronounced color. And then the inside is nice and light in color. You can see the seeds. Okay. I still got my golden cane here, so maybe I'll make a tomato sandwich. <laughs> Your tomato sandwich is like when you cut a tomato in half and then stick a cane between it and you eat it. So maybe I'll make one of those. But uh, squeeze them seeds out. Probably more. Yeah, to see what I do is that's I do that sometimes. And that's why I got tomatoes all over the place because I like to squeeze the seeds out. But uh, let me taste this one. Yeah, they're, they're not bad for a little tiny tomato. I like that. Mmm. Tastes very different than uh, the Everglade tomato. Everglade tomatoes are very sweet. And they're, they're very delicious tomatoes. You, you can't get enough of them. You can eat handfuls and handfuls of those things. But, um, yeah, that was the uh, spoon tomato. I'm going to take some photos, and I'll, I'll include the photos in this video. At the end of the video, you can get some better uh, views of the plant, the leaf, the tomato, how it's growing on it, the bracts, and all that stuff. So, all right, so that was a spoon tomato. See ya.